Stop knocking, please. My husband's asleep. What is it? The new folks are here. You were supposed to be out this morning. Just a second. could sleep his head more than a week. Uh, is he sick, Mrs. Loomis? Well, he's not quite himself. He just sits around and... Well, like last night, he suddenly got up and wandered around somewhere at three or four o'clock. I was frantic. Have you seen a doctor? Yes, lately we've seen quite a few. But I don't want to bore you. You're here to have a good time, Mrs. Mrs. Cut. We had a good time, too, a couple of years ago. We were here on our honeymoon. And so I thought it would do him some good when he got out of Letterman. It was a mistake. Yeah, I'm awfully sorry. Oh, but this cabin is promised. Well, that's all right. We'll take another. Mm -hmm. It's like we got here the wrong time all around. No cabin, no Mr. Cabin. He will be back to the place. It doesn't make the least bit of difference, honestly. Thanks for being so nice. I sure appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Paul, I've got to run down to the market. What's yours, too? Would you keep an eye on Of course. What about it, lady? I like that song, don't you, Mrs. Lewis? There isn't any other song. With all your heart's protection, this is a moment of thrill. Thrill me fully with your time. Gee, I'm sorry. He was okay before. I think he cut his hand. If you want, we have some mercurial from I wouldn't dare go in there right now. Well, if you don't mind, I'll do it. Well, thanks. Your husband doesn't seem to like music. Depends. You get right down and dig if you give him a rocking chair and a corny old tune like in the gloaming.
But have you seen my husband? No, I haven't. Isn't he in the cabin? Well, that's just it. You see, I left for the bus station, and when I got back, Mr. Qua hasn't seen him either. Oh, he probably went across the street to get a magazine or something. He wouldn't do that. He knows we're supposed to be at the bus station at 11 o'clock. Well, you, you've still got 40 minutes. I shouldn't have left him alone, especially after last night. He was so upset and everything. Well, you saw it. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Which of you is Mrs. Loomis? I am. Oh, my name is Starkey. I work at the police station. Where is he? Do you know something about my husband? You're the Cutlers? Yes. You've heard something about my husband? Just that he is your husband. Tell me, Mrs. Loomis, is there any chance he could have come here today? Here? Yes, here. No, not possibly. He hates the boats. Wasting your time, I hope. Uh, did you check again? Yes, sir, I did. And there's still one missing. Over here. Let me see. Remember anything you told about the man? No, sir, I don't. Ever seen these before? They're his. But why is everyone standing around? Do something. Look for him. Find him. Listen, Mrs. Lomas. You better go home. Have you got anyone to take care of you? Any friends or close relatives? No. Well, that is no one except these people. No one. No one. What about well, Mama Lowe? Will you be able to take her home? Sure. Come on. Why didn't those friends of yours bring you? The Cutlers. I'm all right. Where is he? Now, listen, this isn't going to be pleasant. I don't expect it to be. Please wait. Identify this body as that of your husband, George Loomis. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Put in everything I thought she'd need. I want to leave you here.
Well, what is it? Are we leaving or are they going to keep us here all day? They say there's going to be a little delay. The police are checking up on everybody's identification. Checking up? Why? The bus is supposed to leave at 5.55. Oh, at this rate, we'll never get home. It won't take long. They're looking for some dame. The bus will make up for lost time once we get started. Let's visit Niagara Falls. Oh, I'm sorry I ever mentioned it. Hop in. Say, what I want to know is, can you get me to the bus station on the American side? If you're not in too much of a hurry, they've got some kind of a roadblock up there at the bridge. Smugglers or something. Well, that's no good, then. What about the sidewalk where you walk? Can I get through that way? Could be. Take that walk over there, just to the right side of the gate. Thanks.
1859, Blondine, a rich tightrope walker, made his famous walk right over the pole. If you follow me, I'll show you a little better where it happened. I kind of like that song, don't you, Mrs. Lucas? There isn't any other song. With all your heart's protection, just as a moment of, 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 Look for him. 